Welcome to this look at a cracking new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I am here on the Northern Farms. This is a new mod map out by Simulation for the Nation. 451.95 megabytes downloads as far as I'm aware and I apologise if I'm incorrect on this. I think this is Simulation for the Nation's first mod and first map for Farming Simulator. And I have to say... It's right up my street, this one, right up my street. This is um, based on four real-life farms situated across Northumberland in the UK, which is to the northeast, just above Newcastle, uh, above County Durham, border on the Scottish border, North Sea to the right. So, yeah, up there, that's where it is, if you're curious about where it is. So it's based upon that, so it's taking the real-life designs of four different farms and stitching them together onto this map. Um, there's loads of custom stuff on this, custom sounds, custom buildings. Uh, well, I think we've got a custom grass texture. Uh, what else have we got? Um, you'll see as we go around. Um, there are parts of this, because there are footpaths as well around the map. Remind me very much of the West Coast by Bullet Bill from FS17. Um, yeah, it, it's... I like it. I really do. So, the map looks like this. It's not a very large map, but saying that, it feels like a large map as we go around. You'll see as we go around. On New Farmer, we start with Plot 2 up the top here, which takes in these four fields and the main farm area. All the animals... Um, up here that we start with there is another farm that has got some animals actually we've got two two or three farms and some other plots i'm going to put some money in to pick up those plots as we go around um the verges the periphery of the map is purchasable for zero if i do that and that so all of that and all these interior bits all the bits where all the cell points and stuff are that's all purchasable which allows for placeables and things like that now what i did do off camera i walked out through there along this lane and out over a gate into this wooded area with a chainsaw once i'd purchased it now it did allow me to cut trees down out here um but i had that weird thing that sometimes when you cut a tree depends how it's been placed on the map i had a few catapulting trees that once i cut them they kind of shot off um so you can access it um, whether you can get through gateways and stuff, it's, it's going to be a case of trial and error because obviously there's a lot of there's a lot of round the outside to go round. Um, so finding those bits, enjoy. That's all I say. I'll explore the map. It does say there are 100 collectibles, but I haven't found any yet. Um, I have taken the liberty because, well, you know, it just fits, doesn't it? It's, it's yeah. I'll leave that here because we're going to need that in a little while. Let's start off here. Oh, little things like that, the little latch on the gate. All very nice indeed. So we've got horse pasture. Now there's some extra icons on the map added in, which again I'll show you as we go around. Um, there are a couple of bits here and there that you'll see in just a moment where I think it will probably get an update. Um, when I open the barn doors here, you'll see that the grass has clipped right in through the floor of the um, building here. I'm on console on PlayStation 5. I don't know if it's the same on the PC version. Um, and then we've got our animal dialogue box. So this is for eight horses around here. Now, if we go back to the map, it will show you there. This one here says remove horse field items. So if you go into um, demolish one of these, I can't remember which one it is, um, you click on it, it'll remove all these items from the field if you don't want them in the field. So if, you do, if, you know, if you're going to exercise your horse, horses however many you've got and you don't want these jumps here or you want to put other ones in you can remove them which is nice there are some other touches like that as we go around the map oh the other thing i did mention um was fuel prices i showed you the outside so um i mean i have to say ranging from small medium up to some larger ones 48 grand field 16 just down there 17 grand 35 then we work our way up i mean again they're not 310 that sort of double plot. That, that's a, there's a sort of farm there as well. 476. Nothing, nothing break the bank type. You know, it's it's pretty good. I have to say it. Actually, I should really close that as we go. Um, contracts are available on the map. There's an extra crop added in. If we go to, uh, what am I looking for? I want to go down one. 
and go to cedars, you'll see what linseed added in. So your regular cedars will plant linseed. And then for harvesting, it's a regular header. You'll see there on the end, there we've got linseed too. And um, that's the only added crop type put in. As far as mod scope put in by simulation for the nation, we have got... I could just say SFTM, which is what it says in the thing. I'll probably say that moving forward. Uh, what have we got in here? Oh, yeah. We haven't got much, actually. There are no required mods when you download this. Under containers, we've got that medium petrol tank there. And then under farmhouses, I think, was the only other thing. There we go. We've got a farmhouse. Under landscaping and painting, we've got a couple of extra textures here for forest ground and things like that. Um, but that's about it. That's everything put in under build mode. So we'll close that gate as we go. We've got some various different houses and stuff here around the main farm area. And then we come up here into the main farm itself. Chicken pen, just to our side there, for 100 chickens. Without um, egg box point being just there. I'm having trouble with words again today. I don't know what's the matter with me. Fuel tank is just here. You listen. I think that's the pumps for the milk tank. So we've got a milk tank just here. Honestly, it's really I'm, I really like this. This is cool. Uh, we've got a Massey just there with a mixer wagon. This is our cow pen here at the farm. Manure point, slurry point, just there. Cows, 150. Some of the icons are a little bit high as well, but you, they still activate when you get near them. They're just high up off the I think just higher than we're used to, I guess. I, you know. Uh, around the corner here, we've got a baler, we've got a rear side-mounted mower, header and header trailer. This does open to the side there. That does partially cover that. There's not a workshop trigger that I'm aware of. I did go in here and have a wander around, but there wasn't, I couldn't see one. Um, some more gear in here, so we've got a harvester. I was only talking about this the other day when I was on Court Farm. Oh, have I released that video yet? I haven't released that video yet. Saying about how when you've got small farms and you've got stuff stored in barns, you get to that point where you've got to remove things to get to other things, you know, and that, that has this feel to it. It works really well. So roller and cedar, sprayer, harvester in here. We've got trailer, plow, grass work equipment, cultivator, and a John Deere just there. I love this. Um, so we've got a clamp here, silage clamp, and small shelter. More gear just packed packed tightly away in there and we come around the corner here and we've got our sheep barn we have got a jcb telehander in here as well so we do start with a fair bit of gear 200 sheep and they will come out into the field just out here so that's the main farm i'm going to put some money in because i'm going to need it as we go around <laughs> the, the trouble is, oh, this, this is this thing, isn't it? There's so many, there's so many really nice maps, and you can't play all of them. And I'm loving Court Farm, and I'm looking at this thinking, oh, I, I really do like this. And I'm thinking of a full start from scratch because my last couple haven't been sort of start from scratch. I mean, proper. I like it. I really do like it. Anyway, sorry. Uh, slot count is 1,006. That's on all three game modes. It's the same slot count. So you do start with all the machinery and equipment. Obviously, in farm management, start from scratch. You just won't own the land. Um, so we'll start heading around. Let me just put some money in. So I'm going to need some. Very nice indeed. Let's do this. So, heading out from here. There's nothing I will say. <laughs> this, I think it's probably my only complaint on the map. It's the traffic. The traffic is insanely fast. Look, I like, and again, little details like that. Look, patches of tarmac in the road. Also, all those extra little details. And when I said about footpaths, it's one of those ones. What was that one? Purbeck had them. Um, where I drive past them and think, I'd love to just go for it. See, now I'm itching to just go out. I want to go out with the dog and just go for a wander around the countryside. Just, just pack a rucksack and go out for the day and just 
walk the countryside along public footpaths and just have a great time. Hey, look. They're just really nice features. And it's like that. Normally stinging nettles and all sorts and off you go across the country. And there's a nice feature later on as we get further along. Oh, I missed the sign. That's what I was looking for. You got the footpath sign just there. Um, where when we get out into the countryside a little bit later on there are actually people walking the footpaths now you normally get pedestrians on a map but i thought that was really cool it was a really nice touch because i saw people walking across the field i'm thinking that's weird what's going on there and that's what it was brilliant the thorn and thistle public house just obviously there is a cell point there um i've got to be careful like i said the traffic is look watch that only slowed down because i was there Whoa, no, you can't. Honestly, it's absolutely... It's so fast. Especially in tractors and things like that. Right. Oh, let's try this. Now, we are at the vehicle workshop and store. So the workshop trigger is just around the side here. I think, did I open it? Did, there we go. So this is your vehicle workshop, just there. The vehicle store, some of these you actually have to go into the buildings for them. Now this I thought was a little bit, now I think it's to do with the texturing. I think it's, again, possibly get an update, but I thought this was a little bit creepy. Um, again, I'm, I'm joking, it's, it's just a wind up there. So that's your workshop trigger, but this little room here, right? Look at these, right, these windows. Well, not windows, but if you go from the inside, you can see out. One way glass. Hmm. That's a bit, hmm. Like I said, a bit creepy. Anyway, reset point is here on the map as well, in this bit here. Uh, be careful of large machinery. Um, I did try one thing out that I was using with my thumbnail, and it spawned right here, and it got caught on the fence. So it's just something to be aware of. Just the odd little bits and bobs I've found here and there as I go around. It's a little bit, of, I'm feeling a little bit Attingham Park vibes as well. There's a whole mixture. Lime Station is just here, and as I said, the Thorn and Thistle pub. I think it's the glass, I think it's the window textures. I'm just looking at the windows on the back of the pub and it looks like it's been boarded up. I think it might just be that. But there's your cell point there for the Thorn and Thistle pub. We go this way. Again, public footpath signs everywhere. Oh, get out of the way. Um, we've got Farmer's Market cell point, which is just in there. Just beyond that little brick building. Continue on. We've got the county farm shop coming up. People just walk across the road, they don't care. County farm shop is just here. Sell point. And then next to that, again, nice little feature. Some added in stuff. Our next great development opportunity, just in here. So we've got placeables points, so if you want to build, whatever it might be. Production chain, sale points, another farm. We've got a plot of land here you can purchase for that. I mean, you can do it anywhere, of course. You can just buy a field and put stuff on if you want to. But it's sort of designated now. The road kind of ends here. There's construction stuff going on. So we turn off down this little lane here. For our people. It's one of the reasons I chose the Land Rover rather than the tractor, because it gives me the ability to actually avoid them. <laughs> rather than just driving straight through people in our tractor. So around the back of the houses and the little village, we'll head out. There's a couple of little detours I'm going to make, just to show you a couple of things. I'm just trying to think, was that the way to go? or uh, Right, so we've gone from the main farm here, down the lane here, out to the little village. Did all the cell points and stuff here, vehicle shop, workshop trigger, came around there past the county stores, and then we've followed this track here. Um, no, no, I'll go the way I was going to go, I think. So, when we get to this farm area here, and this is that one I said about, this straddles both of these, so it's field 65 and 66, but it's plot 21, 476,616. Buy that, do that, and we get some triggers come up. So we do have a fuel point just here. We've got barn 
and storage. And on the side here, we've got a tipping in for a silo. And then taking out point is here for the silo. We've got liquid fertilizer storage tank just here as well. This one was 40,000 litres. I didn't make a note of it and should have done. So there's no sleep trigger or anything here. Again, I mean, I assume that's dryers and stuff, but storage and a silo should you require it carrying on so a slight detour because so I'm going to need to turn right in a little while from here but we'll go down here first it's little things like this just little dips in the road I don't know it just adds to that immersion I'm going to turn down here because again, for that sort of storytelling, I think that's what's been added in. That ability to move the, the um, horse obstacles, exercising stuff. But, as you'll see as we go around, there's a couple more bits that you can do. Which, if you wanted to do a storyline and make it a little bit more immersive, you absolutely can. But as we head down to the river, I keep doing that. There's a little campground down there. There's no cell point or anything, but this is all part of the land um, that you can purchase for free. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. Just remembered. So we've got a little parking area just here. Carry on a bit further along. Put a little fire pit down by the water. And then we've got a little campground. So you could put in a cell point and stuff down here if you wanted to. Because we are on the outskirts. Now, as it stands at the moment, when you start on New Farmer or any three, you don't have any production chains. But if we go up to here and I purchase the verges, the periphery, whatever you want to refer to as, for zero, and then come back down, now find that you have the biogas plant and you have the sawmill. Um, because they are on that, that section. So the biogas plant, I've lost where I am, is here. Oh, there it is. It was next to it. It's got the, the northern grain cell point cell point and then the biogas plant sorry i knew it was there somewhere i thought it was going insane i mean that ship has sailed long ago but anyway follow back up up here out of the uh, the campground i just wanted to come down and show you because it's another one of those little you know because there's not a cell point necessarily down here you wouldn't necessarily come down here for anything in particular but i think because you can buy that that plot of land for nothing when you're setting up a let's play to run and I like when you get a map come out and, and those creative juices start flowing. You get those ideas and you think, oh, you know, this would be cool to have this here. And I think, well, I would put that here and do this here. And, you know, that's brilliant. It's doing its job. So, go back to where we just came. I think this is why it feels like a bigger map because on the route I'm taking round it, it's a lot of driving to get where you need to go it's not necessarily a circuit you, you've got a little bit of out and back here and there isn't it funny how you get so used to left hand drive vehicles that when you get out your muscle memory is to get out and walk away to the left so I'm in this which is now right hand drive and every time I, I do it all the time every time I get out I go to walk away to the left it's just such a habit now it does say in the description that there are animations of birds flying across the map I, I mean there are crows and stuff I'm trying to think well there are some I mean yeah I'm not sure I've seen any flying across the map yet but then to be fair I have been looking at the ground and where I'm going and cell points and that kind of stuff so right next farm coming up park just here now this is a curious one and I'll say that because if I open the gate and we go back to our map apologies for that earlier I thought it was there that's I'm just going slightly mad so we're down to the campground there we came back up and then we're up there and out here and we are now at this point here so this one here plot 26 which takes in these four fields and this farm area if we buy that 
for 130,296. Do that, that, and that. We got all this come up. So we've got a little pig farm here. So we've got another little silo here. We've got a water point. Pigs, 400. With their feed trough and stuff here. Now, this also has an icon just under there, which says remove junk in barns. Now, be careful. Um, because this one, in all honesty, there wasn't a lot of junk. I, I couldn't see again. There's no sleep trigger, but there's, there are tons in the mod hub you can put in. So I clicked on it, and when I clicked on the icon, or let's, I'll show you what I mean. We go to demolish. demolish. Right, do you want to, to sell, remove junk in barns for minus 249? If I click yes, it removed the entire barn. Now I'm assuming it's, it's intimating that, that barn is derelict and needs to be pulled down. Because do that, so not only does it, no, I don't want to sell the pig pasture. So not only did it remove the junk, but it removed the entire barn. So that one I would say just be wary of. If you want to keep the barn, I mean there wasn't a lot of stuff in it. But if you want the space, you can. You can remove a lot of the stuff at the farms. Um, but that becomes, the removed chunk becomes more relevant at the next spot we're going to go to. And as I said about storytelling and having a narrative, it's a nice feature that I, that I like. And it's coming up just now. Again, just to be wary of the traffic. It's the Citroens. It's the Citroen, however you want to say it. Um, they, they seem to be a lot quicker. So those mad French drivers. So this little plot here. Right, we'll get here. We'll put it in off the road, otherwise I'll cause a problem. So you've got this derelict bin barn building here with a skip next to it. And you've got this stuff here. You know, you can't access any of this. And there's bushes and junk and stuff everywhere. Which again, I love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And as a storytelling, a narrative device, it's very cool. So if we come to this plot here, which is plot 27, 58,872. We buy that, do that and that, we get these two icons come up. So remove junk in barns and remove junk in barns. So if I do that, let's go to our demolish and click on that. It says, do you want to sell remove junk in barns? If I say yes, this time, it does remove all the junk, so you get the barns back. This one, I think it removes the entire barn, if I recall correctly. Yes. So it's like you've torn down the old derelict barn, you've cleared all the rubbish away, and you've got space then to either start a new farm or just have this as a, a sort of pasture land or grass or whatever. But that's a nice feature. I like that. And you could, I mean, you could have lorries and skip lorries, and you could have stuff come, and you could get yourself an excavator, and you could do, you know, you could simulate demolishing the old barn if you wanted to. You know, there are various different pallets and stuff. You could have some wood pallets and things that once you've demolished it all, you come and collect them and take them away. How far do you want to go with it? I mean, that's the thing. But it does give you the option to go a long way with it if you want to. Anyway, continuing on. Uh, we have got, uh, right, the animal dealer on our left. Again, nice feature this. Animal dealer, we have to go inside the building. So you've got all the pens outside. So you would turn up at your, the animal dealer in your trailers. You'd unload your animals in real life. That's what you would do into the pens. And then if we come around here and we open the door, in here is where you find the trigger for your dialogue box for the animal dealer. But what you've also got is the auction room. So you've got the auction room where all the people sit, the auctioneer up in the, in the little booth there. And the animals then are brought in from the outside in I like it again it's just it's does a little extra touch so next up we've got northern grain services and the biogas plant like I said now this is all we own the land now but if we turn in just here open the gates traffic thanks for that cheers mate I'll, I'll just get my repairs done it's all right it's all good so we got northern grain services um and then northern grain services two so we've got two sell points here so if you're doing contracts it may specify specifically one of these two sell points both northern grain services but 
one is labelled two. What well, one? One is labelled two. Honestly, one of them is labelled as two. <laughs> Round the back. Biogas plant, which because we own the land now, we own. And then we've got the Northern Grain Services bale cell point, which is just there. Standard biogas plant for a 250 kilowatt. So 24 cycles per month with the various different recipes and an outgoing product being digestate. So that's our biogas plant. From here. See what I mean? You look at the map when you start off and think, oh, it's quite a small map. But there's so much to it. And actually, you know, and there's so much more. When I do a map tour, I always, I, mean, I say always say this, I should say it more. There is so much more on every single map. I will show the main features, things that stand out. But this is one of those ones that, as you see the speed that car going past, as I'm driving around, look, insane. I keep seeing things thinking, oh, that would make a brilliant thumbnail. Oh, look at that. Look at that view here. And look at, and, you know, all these extra little bits, you know. So. We are going to whiz down here. It's a bit of an out and back, this one. This takes us to Debris Crusher. Again, um, this is owned once you own the, the outside edges and that bit you buy for zero. So if you want to set up a little quarry, if you wanted to put stone in here and lime or whatever you want to do, you could. So we drive down here. You know something that dawned on me? I looked across the map and I saw something and thought, no way. Um, and then my mind suddenly thought, I've, I've never seen it on a map, especially an English map. I'll explain a minute. So I've got a little pond down there, a little quarry area of debris crusher, but again, nice flat bit down here. But if you wanted to put in piles of stone next to it, you could, you know, you could pile stuff up and you could run it as a quarry. I like that. So the thing I was going to say was canal boats. I don't think there's a map, a UK map, that's got any canals. There was one, oh, was it Mapper's Paradise? Who was it made it? It was, it was quite a while ago, and it never came to console. Did that have a canal on it? I'm trying to think. Because I looked across, and it's actually a wood pile. I was looking across to the left, and I don't know if you can see just over there. And from a distance, when I looked over, it looked like the sides of a canal boat, a narrow boat. And I looked across and thought, no way. I thought, how cool would that be? So I mean, it's just it's, it's a little thing. It's one. It's you know just a personal. You know I thought it'd be really nice on one of, on IA map to have a little canal running along with some canal boats and I mean, you could have a little canal boat chugging along. We have rivers and various different things, but huh. sorry, just indulging my. Own. Wouldn't it be cool if so? Into the next village. Now these bridges and stuff again. I love the fact they it says slow and they narrow and you do have to be careful when the traffic's coming the other way we need to turn down here to the next cell points this one is dairy as it says up there northern dairy cell point there aren't many production chains on here like i say it, it gives you the option if you want to sawmill just here tucked away around the corner It's these little bits that give me Attingham Park vibes. And then from here we've got Derek's Bales. Which is just up here. Tucked away. Everything's tucked away. I don't keep saying that. Tucked away. Everything seems to be tucked away. Here we go. So Derek's Bales cell point is just here. So where are we now? That's a quite a deep question. So past the section here that had the barns on, up there to the animal dealer, the uh, Northern Grains uh, Services cell points, the biogas plant and the bale point there. We went up and back to the debris crusher, back there up to the dairy, sawmill and Derek's bales. We're now going to come back round here and up here. 
because what I'm also going to do before we get there, plot 34 and plot 37, I'm going to purchase. If I purchase plot 34, which is a larger sort of more farm estate style, again, you'll see when we get a 281,000, 304, do that, that and that. We get some triggers come up. Plot 37, buy that, do that and that. And we get another trigger come up just there. As far as I can tell, that's all. I did buy 36, no trigger came up. I was looking around the map thinking of other plots I might have missed that might have had little farms on icons. I don't think so. As far as I can tell, that's all of them. So what I'm going to do now is jump back in the Land Rover. And we'll head back around. I have to say, when I drove past up towards the sawmill, that building, I never mentioned as we drove past, had a real workhouse vibe to it. An old sort of, yeah, this one just here. Or one of the old mills, you know. Look at that. It's got that look to it. Anyway. Let's go. Now this, when I did my let's have a quick look around and make my notes, I came across there in the John Deere. That was tight. It was tight getting in there with the John Deere. And the same as this little bridge here. There's not a lot of room over this bridge. But I like that. That's a good thing. And this little detail as well. You get this a lot. You've got the roadway with the gate and you've got a cattle grid to the side. Anyway, this, like I say, this just had more of a, I don't know, like a farm estate vibe to it, I, I found, thought, I don't know. No, interesting, we've just gone across two cattle grids. But that's not actually the cattle pasture, the cattle are in the barn. If we come over here, there we go, 150 cows in the barn here. We come up the back here, this is our milk point again. With the pumps running for our milk point. I do like the rust on the doors and stuff. Fuel point in here. That opens out to the back, just to get around the back of the buildings if you want to. Then we come around here and we've got our sheep. Well, it's not a sheep pen, sheep field actually. Because I honestly thought when I drove past the two cattle grids, I thought that would be really cool to have all the cows out in the field here. But I did buy a couple just to test it and they were in this barn here. I'll show you. Doesn't matter what I get. Yeah, they're in here. So I thought they might be out there. But again, it's a minor thing. I just, it's, you know, how you, as I drive, you drive in, you think, oh, that's pretty cool. I thought the reason for having the two cattle grids, one this end of the field and one on that end of the field, would be because you would have cattle in it. But it's just yeah, a minor thing. Uh, so, sheep pen, 200. That door opens the other end, out into the sheep field. Storage shed, water point. And more storage just here. So that's this farm looked at. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk across to this one. And I'll tell you why. Because this was the point where I came out into the field, just have a look. And as I looked up across there, there we go, look, I could see someone walking across the field. I was like, huh? That's a bit, that's a bit random, isn't it? So I, I thought I'd come out and have a look. And then it suddenly dawned on me. What a cool feature that it is a public footpath. There's people walking across the public footpath. It goes right across out that way. And the public footpath goes to here. It is a public footpath. Across over here. And when I came around this corner, there was a person walking along here, along the side of the field. Again, really nice feature. Very cool indeed. Which brings you down to this point here. There you go, look. There's people just out for walks. So if we follow... So if we follow it. There you go. Along through the trees. Oh no, I've got lost. Don't know where the footpath went. There we go. Out to here. 
Got another little farm tucked away in the corner. This one was said if you buy that plot of land, there are no triggers come up. But there's another little farm tucked away in the back corner here. Or, say, farm a house if you want it as that. Or you can put a cell point there or something like that if you wanted to. But here, that final plot, we've got another little cow shed just tucked away up here. Plot 37. Cow shed for 150. Manure point as well. And that is the map. Because from there, we'd have to come all the way back down along the main road. I did go up this little track here, but it stops there. You could probably cut across the grass fields and come in onto that track there to come back across the farm. I'm sure if people are playing on it already, or will play on it, or might play on it, um, people find shortcuts or will make shortcuts to get to places. Um, I know I did on Six Ashes quite a lot. But that is the map. That's the Northern Farms by SFTN. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you choose to do. Thanks for watching.